What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. And today I'm checking out a, a whole different art store because to me, I'm so used to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and AC Moore and AC Moore's closing down actually. But I actually wanted to try to go to an actual art store. So today I'm at the Blick Art Materials store. I've ordered from them online before and I've also and I've always wanted to see the store actually go in store and see what they have in stock. So let's go around and check out the place. All right, so this is the paper. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah, clear print. All this off-brand paper. Can't tell it's not off-brand, but it's there. There's Blick paper, Bian, Bian Fang, Bian Fang. I don't know what that is. Keep looking. Um, ooh, sketchbooks. Let's see what they got here. This is the one that I have. I think it's hard bound. Ooh, I, like, I really like these ones too. I do. <laughs> I like these hard bound ones. They're the 8x10. Oh, sorry, 8.5x11 sketchbook. Got a lot of them here. Ooh. And there's watercolor paper. Bristol Bellum Service. Ooh, I like that. I like that artwork they got there. Who is it? says by Tommy Castillo. Shout out to Tommy Castillo. Oh, look, they got super value paper. This one has a tear in it. Anyway, let's check out what else they got here. We got, what is this, what is this makeup? I don't do makeup. Oh, and there's like colored pencils in stock. Stabilo colored pencils. I didn't even know they made colored pencils, to be honest. And they have like uh, pastels. Over on this rack. I don't miss the pastels too much. There's like sketching supplies. There's paint. Here's micron pens. It's pretty awesome. This manga drawing set. Ooh, I have two of these already. Got marker storage here. See, all the stuff I'm seeing online, but I always wanted to see what it looks like in store. Because I'm afraid when I, if I order it online, it's not gonna come how I want it. It's gonna come even probably smaller or bigger than I expect. Ooh, Ooh there's markers here. Ooh, satisfying. I think I've heard of these markers before. It's called ad markers. Let's take one out and check. Okay. I might grab me one of these. I really like that. That's cool. It's got a bit of an odor. It's like bad a really bad odor it's like all the colors though so you don't find this in your average art store but hey look down here they got prison color markers to be honest i miss using these <laughs> and they got the blick markers here the art markers what else they got here what's on this other side these pencil cases Colored pencils. Oh, and by the way, they had that uh, 150 stuff right here. I have that. I got that for Christmas. Ooh, look. Prisma color marker in stock. Oh my god! Oh my god! Those are like kind of twists. Did I knock it off the thing? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Look at all these. Buy six and you get three and a half dollars each of each four fifty nine. Wow. I need to start coming here more often. Ooh, and I got another marker rack. Let's see. I got the Blake markers. They look just like the original color ones. Except they got a uh, the color name, the sticker on the barrel. And top of stuff. And I got Three refills. So to me, they're just like the Prisma color and the Copic marker put together. Prisma color, they got the shape, and then the Copic, they got the refills and everything. The only thing I don't like are the numbering system that they have. 16, and then they got 14, which is yellow. I'm guessing like 15 is like an orangey yellow. I mean, it makes it a little bit more, a little more confusing. Let's see, you got 44, and it goes to 47. 44 is a green, and then. 47 turned out to be a brown, so I'm guessing like 45 would be, I don't know, oh look, up here, there's a 41, so 
I don't know how to respond to that. And they got, ooh, COVID markers. Ooh. I think they got the COVID shells. Yep. Very, very cheap here. Buy six and you get like, so I'm paying like $18 for like six of them. Not your average retailer. And then they got the more colored pencils and sketchbooks here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna get here. Ooh, 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 what's over here? Copic refills. Ooh. And then they got their uh, fine liners. All that good stuff. See, it took me an hour to get here, but you know, I might start coming here more often. This might as well be my uh, main art retailer, if you know what I'm saying. And they got their uh, clay. What's the name of this brand? Scopey. It's like a dog name a little bit. <laughs> and you got this spray can. I don't know if I don't get too much. And here's their assortment of paper. Assortment of paper. And we got Nintendo Super cool. What else do we have down here? Large Bristol paper. Organized by drawers. I like that. I've got a whole lot. There's like an assortment of acrylic paints here. See, for those of you who are new to my channel, I use 9x12 paper for my illustrations. So, um, I guess I would sell for like a 9x12 portfolio or something like that. If I can find any. There's a number of shelves that are for portrait size. That's number five, eight and a half by eleven. Oh, I just <laughs> That's still not my tail, so I need to be a landscape. And then you have your lamp and lighting. And all that stuff. Ooh, I see more markers. What kind of markers are these? Water based acrylic. I don't mess with that either. Ink and paint markers. So, to be honest, I'm a, I'm a little afraid to step out beside my comfort zone, but if it comes to like watercolor paint, then I'm kind of okay. That's what I see here. Cute box. And speaking of paint. Let's go over here. We got gouache. I might get into painting soon. Let me know in the comments if you only decide if you want me to get into painting. Here's, I believe this is your all airbrush stuff. I don't know stuff over. Yeah, this is all paint. I mess around with all this stuff a lot. And there's paint brushes. Y'all ever seen a brush that looks like that? It's a weird shape brush. Look at all these brushes though. I don't paint a lot, but this is this is kind of satisfying. An assortment of brushes. That looks like a makeup brush. Ooh, you got pins over here. Oh, sketchbooks again. Sketchbooks. It's a sketchbook. So it's a economy value. What other pens do y'all have here? Is that the background pen? Ooh, this one's red. Red is my favorite color. Let's see. Gotta find it. Focus. 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 My pen is being stupid. There you go. Found it. Put the top back on. It's hard to do it with one hand and the other holding the camera. Okay, there you go. Pentel pen. I have this one. I have it. And there's lots of gel pens. I have the white ones. 
in the garage. The feel that thing. This looks pretty well too. Look at this. This looks nice. Oh my god, it's hard to take the top off with one hand. What? What brush is that? Is that a brush? No, it's not a brush. It's a pen. It's super stiff. Yeah, so I thought that was a brush pen. So. Oh my god, it's hard to. Oh, I got ink on me. There we go. Here, one of the things y'all have here. Is that it? What are these? like a fine pen. Basically a micron pen with off kinda. I mean looks the the material seems kinda cheap though. I think these are calligraphy pens. Blue more color. Oh. It's hard to focus the camera and take the top off the thing at the same time. I think here's a key. I think I'm gonna brush. No it doesn't. I don't know what he means, but that's what came off it. Unless it was on the wrong thing. <sighs> but yeah, those are the pans. The brushes. Focus. There you go. Ooh, big acrylic paints. Ah, I'm not checking out yet. I'm just looking around. Thanks. And they got their canvas selection. I like that. Canvas. Let's see, let me go down this way. A little better look. You got your big canvas, your little canvas, your mini canvases, and your mini steel canvases. And I want that stack. That's super cool. Scanlon. More Winsor and Newton paints. It's crazy how I know that they sell colored pencils. Yeah. Windsor and Newton colored pencils. I haven't seen them yet, but I know they sell them in colored pencils. They got markers, pencils, paint, watercolor paint, you know, all that stuff. Oh, and they got their big storage things too. I've always seen these. Oh my god, my camera is so stupid. Alright, let's see what. Ooh, that's super cool. It's got a whole bunch of trays inside. Y'all music selection is awful. Anyway, I've been through the whole store. What else you got? Hey, I have to say, it was a really, I don't want to say bad trip, because it wasn't. And I just, I just want to say it was like a, a really good experience coming to this store and a very good yet long trip to get here so i mean it's 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 all good it's all good I, I like their like selection hold on let me turn the camera around yeah i like their selection of their uh markers yeah see not like your average retailer that like the best selection of markers you could ask for they have covid markers over here too and they're yeah. open stock i mean i i don't like that it's open stock because people could like come over here and like draw on it and stuff like that that's my only problem but you know such and such so like it's it's okay i give it like eight and a half stars no cap i'm not always used to traveling into different stores or whatever to you know just i'm not used to traveling a long way just to go to like some art store did manage to get something i was gonna get like another one of these pens fuden osuk pen yeah, I was going to get another one of these because, like, I had two, but one, I think, dried out. I don't know, because I can't find it anywhere. But anyway, if you guys like today's video, you can give it a like and a comment. And subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I'll see you in my next one.